Now, this is a situation the Supreme Court today, upon all the grammar, your static case where your court, John Mahama can say, or the easy about court, and now, Nana do dan kweku fuado se asemna ye ko kanome hu bom inti I want to be part inti Nana do dan kweku fuado so Eden hu be gym inti abaye easy eku fuado ena John Muhammad de om eko court now ye starti asemno na embrade dawa ye di be di asemno court ka se ye di forty two days ne be di asemno ye making sure se within the forty two days ni ya ka se mo enye we ama Ghana for ya ko enim because twenty thirteen ye see ye ni se case ni che do eight months for court if aso bi ni so ye se ye be chat teu teu se ne be ya no krebe de di ni ko enim simple. Now the idea of going to court now one for us to go and make sure say yen yin akuma beto enim e be na akuma to enim NDC MPP say MPP dey win they are confident to say still easy boss but now we be cause we win because the numbers are right say NDC as when we near easy no be ka ntin yin akoko na kuta one ideology one simple idea yeah come easy boss no i catch say tin tan tan these are the figure final figures we will say question we yan no we say question dey near sort of no be akuma to enim we move forward before case never start, you know, you had been to two or so, I'm ready to do so. Case management. Nyama nyama, so you have a case, you know, you have a content term. In the NDC for counsel, I had to cut a catch record and say, court, you didn't kind of know maybe at the time, I don't talk to you, I will see you this way, I will see you this way, the case will be done quickly so that we can all expedite, I'm saying expedite, it will help move the case quickly. And as we go say yes, now Chief Justice Enin Yabwatu one or Jitu say yes. And it's now the Jane Men Saba, Jane Men Sa Tron and Noasem, old friend about Cotton, John Mama, a friend about Cotton. Well, bet Tron and Noasem, Eddin and Sasha, as yes, say, only they were already say, Kohia, and ask a question, Kohia, John Mahama, Nene, and this is for person who said, you know, why are ready? Because on your bonny be a, and it's our friend Cotton, Waba. Inti, Nanoa Semina, on Yanko Tanada come, what throw at science, as yes, say, only the embrenny drua. Obeka ko tsana kem no answer John Mahama answer NDC AM Nana Kufado na Ghana obi abo ato nim and priority ni say obetna box nim a chere Ghana for say ye ka say osori akokta fre baby answer na we didi no ana say oyey party foot soldier ma ekufuado no ana say ono no ye de ne ba say on bare election obe prove Ghana for say enye nu tin ye de ne ba ye na obe chere Ghana for box mi say ono oyey djuma ma Ghana na wan ye djuma mo bi so it was simple and we were all happy now, in bread, it is two criminal, not a bear five. A bin is said, John Mahama, extra the petition, no, that's what they call court. No, Jemen sang your chance, and so on, so be ye are no El Krata, so Eden and Sasha, see, actually, on in the D electoral commission in him that he, she is the boss of the EC. Now, the issue is, in Branich, I say, I'm son of Jemen, so be bad, that I will say, Chachu, another John Mahama, Timuno, and the Ebusan in Semfuebi, a year twelve. Na oya no and sana ya dina ba dakem sana ebe ya ebe ma court ju me dina ye dino the process will be short we can compress it sana ebe ebe tu me free court in term e we bibia and a chief justice jitu mu na time a petitioners e ye chatu chikata e kache supreme court say ye pesa j mensa eba eni no mfreno interlocutory interlocutories or whatever man and I say any a friend um um a uh, pre trial yes let me get that word right. The pre-trial, and they say, you better to the men sano near their questions twelve natural. No, now I come, no I church. We are no peace, peace. And now we are no quick, quick. Send a bear. You didn't be another command. That's our question. Our questions. And the crab of Boma, a seminal, a contempt in the pre-trial. No, the men sa and shim because court nankasan is setting up, sir. Emrano embred one a car said, court. Jemen Sambrana pre-trana. Yem for your questions, no NPP for NDC for Achachukita, Chikata, M Fan Chirano. Now on shot twelve questions in him. Na on ye yano send a bay a quadra can ma. Or back us oh, where they be yano that I mean ye, where they be yano that. Jemen send in the lawyers catch the court say on ye. Na Imbrenu do se or be bad can ma, which means say, say ne time you do so bad that can ma. Sa questions twelve in yina obi yano. Emma who Supreme Court judge, Chief Justice, and the judges number two. Muni Namuka said, Sana Yenyano. Questions are so busan to see there, even though no, and branch said, I was sank away, you know. But I win here, Mumma and Queen, because Nippon or Turno or see, time to do so at another canima. Obe Yininano, it is a CIA, a here, it is Chief Justice, a Jesus assembly to Muka say, We should not ask Jane Mensa. Pre-trial, ye mu sanin dano asema sanin batsa dakem. Inti jemen sa jatum, ema or responde ye, ema or science ye, ema chief justice ni judges omutu wanyaka se tall. Wun tini ya wo court ha, technically, wu jemen sa tini ya wo ha. 
ya pesa obe chile ye si ya niti ni ya waha niti sa waji ya tumse ende u yano na time nudu nase ube kwa kubo akdake mwa kwa yano dia ende ya the same thing niti ya mani nko even though no embrana da honi yebusu no chachubu kase ok at the end of the day se ye chabuwa ni kong anasi ye chane naya at the end of the day ye chabuwa ni baby still questions ni bebaso ena chachumu etuaso MPP4 NDC4 eh John Mahama eh de na dance for ne witnesses miensa e eh baye ema eh MPP4 lawyer any eh easy lawyer e eh toto o mano e eh de nkrata bi kra chechi omo a na nkrata no omo omo ya witness no omo ntima gian tumse sa nkrata na easy for lawyer any eh MPP4 lawyer ko tampa e eh chiro omo se nkrata no ko mo hu bi da omo toto omo miensa ni nyina no e eh ma gana fo nyina ate eh. se John Mahama ne ne ne, ne witnesses no omo twantra ye nyina ehun Se Rojo can try you win. White can try you I said you can try it. See, you are ready. Se in the gentleman's in the gentleman's agreement, no. Jane Mensa be bad at him. It is simple. Inti out of respect for Jane Mensa, no. Nobody actually made noise, even though the the pre-trial no was snubbed by the Supreme Court and Jane Mensa. But as gentlemen, as Ghanaians who want peace, you know, we start to say, Supreme Court respect us. The Supreme Court respect the people. So when it is about time for Jane to mount the box, they will do as, 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 as it is because they are, we have shown respect. Now, John Mahama witnesses in Abetanasi, you to me, you know, you know, now, time is so easy. As so did Jane Mensah, you know, you know, now you busa no question in some four twelve just twelve questions to prove say eku for the fifty plus and answer one try send a be yini na ya juni beto because meno kase me busa wose eku for the nyan sign untu mi kanche because easy the numbers unkuwa six and a beto abonti ne imre druyana say jamen sanko box cinema jamen say say any lawyers say omu ni box bi omu ba jamen sanko because imre ni show mo and a supreme court say say Chachuchi katani NDC fu ana John Mahama yeni petini shida no. Omu ni tu mi se omu beshe jimen samana ko boxing. But remember, ye stati case we no. There were five rules a yeni tutu kwe mu se ebe buwama asemu we suwe cha. Ema, jimen sam ye friend se yembe tutu rano an sana ye nina bada ke muno. Supreme Court Chief Justice ya anka sana ni seven batali, six batali on sano. Omu kachire gana for se. Enu diye, jimen sam se, on tu mi yeni si si ye no, oso be ye no, time wabe ko boxing. Inti se, Ye do point be also Jemensa kura kwa dakim. Na se, ye need to me as Ghana for an as petitioner to drag Jemensa into the boxer. How, why are you disrespecting the gentleman's agreement? Ye nimse emrani muno, she has the right not to enter the box. Or chenya na se onko boxing. But as Supreme Court judges amotu wano, you owe us a responsibility. You owe the people of Ghana some kind of responsibility. Sometimes, you know, I will say, we make it sure say the right thing is done, irrespective of the rules and regulations. And what is the right thing? The right thing now that Ghanaians need is say, Jane Men Sankuma Bebetanada Kim, eighty twelve questions, Sano, Ne Yinakuma Toyim, Senior Bea Yakotua about twenty twenty four. Now, Chief Justice, in Tokwen Simu, Biambe Bo, too, and now Yiri, too, and now Bitu, Nekuruman Sena, Yapesa Jemen Samaya answer, Senior Bea Yakotua, twenty twelve, and now Yiri, too, and now Bitu, Nekuruman Sena, Yapesa Jemen Samaya answer, Senior Bea Yakotua, twenty twelve, now, Obia Jimu Ben, clean, Obia Jimu Enyan Basabasa, Yadi clean heart to trust the easy. And trust the process, Ninti. Now you yeah, expect it as Ghanaians, the Supreme Court back and say, hey, even though no, Embra Omu Kwan say, yen to me chung, embe jinada ke muno. Ye ye kan wan sem si siya na, e ye dangerous, e ye serious, inti na court ti biya wasa si sun to me ka, e chile yen kwan. That means say, say yen kwan ye betu maka diya, it is up to us to rationally think, common sense, for you to walk in that box, if you have done nothing wrong, to prove to Ghanaians that John Mahama is lying, and that Ekufu had won the elections. So we were expecting the Supreme Court to hold the law and also apply common sense. Now, Supreme Court, this is so Jemensa saw Uncle Boxim now, and the informal, Omu to me for Jemensa, and Momu the ruling Babon today, and the Gana for you now say, Obiani who can't be forced to Jemensa, and Manako Boxim. By time, I never said to Jemensa, and Jemensa, you too, we say, on the dear, or Co Boxim, and Son of Yaro, who same Supreme Court, you same Chief Justice, you sat there and defended that and said, we should go along with that lines because Jemensa said, or Bob Boxim to obey Yanunti, and that even though Imrano Hono, who boom ran so, and my Jemensa now, on the Yano. Because that first part, no, the Supreme Court broke the law because they have put in about five laws in place, five checkpoints to make sure say answer the end that last end. No, na case na it yet Who Supreme Court, the Chief Justice and the judges there, they broke the law, but 
by disallowing Jane Mensah from being interrogated. The same court has broken the law. Today, the same court wants to uphold the law. So when you sit there and you ask yourself, say, is this the Supreme Court? Uh, you pay justice for Honana. Is this the Supreme Court? Uh, we want them to deliver justice. Is this the Supreme Court? Uh, we revered, we respect, and know that so the people there are not working for any individual. And until then, uh, you hear somebody like Ayeni, the one of the counsels for John Mahama and the petitioner or the petitioner, or say the Supreme Court is acting like the case is predetermined. From day one, every single thing the petitioner just wanted to make sure, say, we all know and then it will clear our minds. You know, the Supreme Court blocked it. And one funny thing is, this Supreme Court, nobody thinks, they all think they are like seven, seven, seven they are all twins. Now, it doesn't end there. After Supreme Court, catch the Ghana for say, Jay Manson, who cries about I catch the 12 questions and tell us who won the elections, you know. John Mahama, the petitioner, and then the council, you know, I'm filing for another application. And I'm catching the Supreme Court, say, okay, there's a CD and TS here. In fact, first one interrogatories, one may I yet. Pre trial, one may I yet. You better do us, or ban or sober boxing or swan corn, Mosuma, one of Manakutna boxing. And since it's looking like, say, Mompesamo Babuama Ghana for a Hunukreno. And here, file application. I catch them, say, Cesiano, Obano, ye per se a supina no inti grant your application way, na ye supina obano by force, no met another kim. What is so nice about this? Because we are in court for one reason. And what is the reason? To get it to the truth. And they are caught every single day because of a single reason. And that reason is to get to the truth. And that truth is for Jane Mensa to tell us who won the election, with which figure and what number, and that's it. So it's an application because Saba. Now say be a first time we hear a mistake. And I can say, at this point, it's not about law again. It's about the stability of the nation. It's about the security of the nation. It's about consistency and the trust in the electoral commission. As a learned person, as a chief justice, as a Supreme Court judge, as seven people sitting up there, we need to look at the interest of the nation than the interest of political parties. So we are also going to make sure that this woman gets into the bus to at least protect the integrity of the EC, which does not belong to her, to protect the integrity of the elections, which does not belong to her, and also to protect our integrity as Ghanaians who are patriotic citizens who want the truth and as Supreme Court judges who are here to deliver justice. So everybody was expecting the Supreme Court upon all that they have done to at least grant that application and tell them to subpoena her to get into that box. Because when Jay Mensah gets in the box, there's only one thing she has to do. Tell the truth. When she tells the truth, it will go left or it will go right. So why is the Supreme Court saying that they cannot still allow the petitioner, they cannot grant him that application for them to subpoena Jane Mensah to sit in the box? So when you look at it critically, the people who are standing between justice and the people is the Supreme Court. But the Supreme Court was supposed to be a court that delivers justice. Today, we want to get to justice. The Supreme Court has been the barrier. They have been the firewall for stopping us, the people who just need truth, who just want to deliver justice, who just want the integrity of the elections and the electoral commission, who just want the Supreme Court to have some integrity. The Supreme Court has become the firewall that separates us, the people, from the truth. How can the Supreme Court that we expect to uphold the justice of this nation, to uphold the integrity, to uphold the democracy of this nation, block justice. Because all that we need as Ghanaians, as one people, is just one person to make a statement so that we move forward. So that in the next elections, somebody will not sit there and say that, I am never going to allow it. Because when I allow it and it goes to Accra, the EC boss there, whenever there's a question or uh, something for her to answer, she will not. So I'm going to kill Today, the Supreme Court is telling Ghanaians that we are not going to allow this woman, we are not going to make sure you people ask this woman the truth. And that in 2024, when you have an election in your district, in your constituency, kill and make sure you change the numbers because that is the only way you get justice. Because you coming here, it's like basically you coming here to tell us that we should protect our daughter. What the Supreme Court is telling Ghanaians today is in 2024, when you go to your polling station and there is chaos, cut somebody's throat and make sure that paper there, you write it in for them to transfer it to the regional office. Follow up at the regional office. Kill. Make sure that your figures are, are, are made up in there because when it gets to the EC, that is what we will use. So the Supreme Court is actually directing Ghanaians into a ditch that we can never get out of. The Supreme Court is depleting our democracy. Common sense should apply here. The country is tense. 
the electoral commission's integrity is at stake. The Supreme Court has every opportunity to save it. And the Supreme Court today is saying that we are using some law in Canada. We are applying some law in UK. And that when we read some books, it says that she cannot go into the box. But the Supreme Court, which is made up of seven senior judges, including the Chief Justice, they have forgotten that there's country before law. They have forgotten that eight people have died because of the carelessness of somebody during the elections. They have forgotten that when there is chaos, bullets, they don't separate Supreme Court judges from the ordinary citizen. They have forgotten that when there is chaos and when young men strike, they will look for people in power to attack them because those are the people they are angry at. It is the job of the Supreme Court to defuse this tension by just telling Jay Mensah to get in the box and deliver. Catch the gun of one What is so difficult about this that the Chief Justice and the, the other judges are finding it difficult to let it go. Why is it so difficult for a Nini Yabua to say, Jane Mensah, for crying out loud, we are Ghanaians. We are also Ghanaians who voted. Today, we have had elections and elections and elections. We've never been in this situation before. Prove everybody wrong. Let us know the real figures. Let us know the real, of the, the real percentages. Let them ask their questions. If you have nothing to hide, forget about law. Let's apply patriotism and common sense. Get in the box and redeem the image of the Electoral Commission. Redeem the image of the EC. Let us know that we can trust this EC moving forward as a nation in 2024. What is stopping the Supreme Court and the Chief Justice from doing that? Only thing that can stop them is when they are political. When they are on one side. And that is what we are seeing now. That's why you see some of the counsel of the, the petitioner saying that they think this case is predetermined. Because even if you enter law school today, you have to understand where we have gotten to is not about law. It is not about somebody's book they wrote in Canada. It is not about some judgment in the UK. It's about the interest of the people. It is about the destiny of the nation, protecting the democracy. And that is what we are expecting the creme de la creme, the Supreme Court, to do. To deliver justice irrespective of who is in front of them. Jane Mensah cannot be autonomous. She can't. She lives under a rule. The constitution is something that is protecting her and making sure she does the right thing. Why is she not accountable to us? We want fair, transparent elections. And after a fair and transparent elections, the electoral commissioner should not be scared to tell the people the numbers. If the election is, was fair, it was transparent, I don't think the electoral commission will even tell Ghanaians she doesn't want to be in the box. The electoral commission or commissioner will be happy to avail herself for every question or any question because she believes in the integrity and the job she did. That whatever she recorded and told the world are the fact, unless the Supreme Court and the EC know something we don't know. Unless Jane Mensah knows something we don't know. Maybe she wasn't involved in the elections. Maybe somebody cooked numbers for her. Maybe, maybe she knows that the president did not win. What is stopping a Christian who always goes to church every Sunday to tell God that I am a person who has changed. I am a person who is living a, rightful, a righteous life. I am a person who will do everything right to make sure I make it to heaven. What is stopping her? Somebody who wants to tell the world that I am a Christian. I am somebody who tells the truth. I'm somebody who cannot lie. Mounting that box to tell us the truth. It is an opportunity for Jane Mensah to prove to us that she's a real Christian and not some prostitute Christian. Because when they say prostitute Christian, they are the kind of Christians who go to church today, tomorrow they come, they come and give testimony. The next day you see them in Pentecost, giving a different testimony. The fourth day you see them in Anglican. They are not consistent. Their heart shakes and that they cannot be believed. God does not like such people. Even in the Bible, when you read Psalm 14 verse 1, it says the fool, it is only the fool who have said in his heart that there is no God. Jane Mensah is not a fool. She is a child of God. And she has said in her heart that there's heaven and there's God. So why is she running from what will take her to God? Jane Mensah should be a Christian, should be bold, should be honest enough to voluntarily tell the Supreme Court, I want to be in the box. But what we are seeing today, the Supreme Court, the creme de la creme, that is supposed to protect you and I, our democracy, our justice, our country has been the firewall protecting a criminal, in quotes from telling us the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, it is very important as youth, we begin to understand that until we start speaking, until we start making sure we communicate, until we start telling the story to the world, until we start putting some pressure on people we have elected, I will never sit on my platform and tell you to go ahead a brother or a sister. It will not solve anything. The only thing that can solve our problem today is to make sure we get free, fair, and um, a very, very... Um, 
clean government. It is very important. And how we do that is simple. Let us speak. Let us be bold. Let us not be selective on the issues. If Jemensa is doing something wrong, we should come together as a people and speak on it. It's as simple as that. We need to build this nation and we need to build it together. The institutions are very important. The courts, the EC, the parliament, and these are institutions that we have to separate from politics. And the EC's office is one office that we need no matter what. If even John Muhammad does not win this election or win this court case, we need to make sure we separate the EC from politics or any political party. It is a very independent outfit that we need to respect. Jay Mensa is disrespecting everybody. And who is making Jay Mensa disrespect us? Enin Yeboah and the other six judges. Today, the Supreme Court is the enemy of the people. Why should it be that? And I expect the Chief Justice to be smart, to think about Ghana, 